Welcome to the part 17 of the Pitman Shorthand course. In this video, we are going to have a look at intervening vowels. Alright, so we are having a statement here. So let's read this statement. It says, an intervening dot vowel between a stroke or a curve and an initial hook may be indicated by writing a small circle instead of a dot either after or before the stroke or a curve. Now, before understanding the complete statement, first of all, let's have a look at these two words of this statement. It says dot vowel. So what are dot vowels? From the previous lessons, we already know that there are some vowels in Pitman shorthand which are represented by a dot. So the vowels pa, me, we, that, pen, is are the vowels that are represented by a dot. So these two words dot vowel in this statement are simply talking about these vowels. Okay, so it's time to understand the complete statement and for that we'll be taking a word called barley. Now of course we can write the word barley like this but we know that shorthand is all about speed so the less time we take to make a particular word in shorthand the more our speed will be so we'll try to write this word but with less outlines which will take less time and eventually increase our speed and for that we need to understand what this statement is telling us so let's try to understand this statement word by word. An intervening dot vowel. Okay, so here goes our first word intervening. So what does the word intervene means? Well, you can simply understand intervene as to come in between or to occur between points of time or events. So an intervening dot vowel. So we're talking about these vowels here because all of these vowels are dot vowels so an intervening dot vowel between a stroke or a curve and an initial hook now if you look at this word barley we know that this one is a stroke because we write b like this and this one is a vowel because if you pronounce this word it sounds as barley so see we have this a vowel a sound as in pa okay and then we have this R. Now we know that there are two ways to write the R consonant. First we can write R like this and second we can write R like this. But there's also the third way which is an initial hook like this. Because from the previous lessons we know that we can write this hook, we can make this hook to represent R. This is an initial hook. And the opposite one is this one which represents L okay and this one is R so this is our B A and then R so let's read the statement an intervening dot vowel between a stroke or a curve and an initial hook may be indicated by writing a small circle now if we combine B and R we know that we can write B and R like this okay here we attach the hook to represent R and this is already our B stroke. So this is BR and it's saying that an intervening dot vowel between a stroke or a curve and an initial hook may be indicated by writing a small circle. So it means that whenever we are having a vowel between a stroke or a curve and an initial hook. In case here it is R then we can represent this vowel by a small circle instead of a dot because we put dot for vowels so we can represent this vowel which comes between the stroke or a curve and an initial hook by just putting a small circle and if you carefully read the last line it says either after or before the stroke or a curve so suppose if we have to write the word bar then we can write it like this and of course we can put the circle either over here or over here 
so let's put it on the left side like this all right so this is bar so see uh, let's do this once again so that you can understand it an intervening dot vowel between a stroke or a curve and an initial hook may be indicated by writing a small circle instead of a dot either after or before the stroke or a curve so see this vowel is coming between the stroke or a curve in case here this is the stroke and an initial hook which is this is R hook in this case this a vowel which is a vowel can be indicated by putting a small circle okay either after or before the stroke all right so this is the concept of this statement so let's take another word like the word challenge okay so see we have this first of all J and then we have this vowel and then we have this L all right so here also we can represent this a vowel with a circle because it comes between a stroke or a curve and an initial hook because we know that L can also be represented by an initial hook like this one so if we make the word challenge we can do like this all right so let's understand this so first we have this J J stroke and then this is the vowel because we also have this L initial hook so that's why we represented this vowel with a circle and then we have this s sound as in pen so that's why i put this this small dot and then we put this n curve and finally we have this j so that's why we attach this final j so that's our word challenge let's take another word narrate okay so see here we have this n then a vowel and then we have this r and then we have the rest of the letters so we can represent n and r like this okay and okay let's write the complete word narrate like this Okay, so let's understand what's going on here we represented and and R by merging this curve and an initial hook so that's why this is the NR till now and then we added this a vowel sound okay this small circle to represent the a vowel because this is the vowel then we have this a again because here we have this vowel and then we finally have this T so see because again we had this vowel between a, either a stroke or a curve and an initial hook so that's why we put this small circle to represent our dot vowel which is A okay so let's take the final word sharp so we can write the sharp word like this okay so see we have this ish first of all and then we have this vowel and then we have this R and then P so see first of all to represent ish and R we combine both of these the hook the initial hook and the ish curve and then to represent this vowel we made this circle to represent our R sound and then finally we attach this P stroke that's our word sharp okay so that was the concept of this statement